So I've done a couple of videos on the East Bund uh, cycle track, which is over on that side, and today I'm actually over on the, the West Bund side of the river. It's uh, quite sunny today, summertime here in Shanghai, and you can see how busy it is behind me. I'll show you around some of the uh, bits and pieces that we've got here. No public transport today, but kind of like life in Shanghai, how is it at the moment? So we've got these cranes uh, left over from the, uh, the Dockland times. Uh, this has been here for quite some time. This climbing wall uh, has been here for many, many years. It was kind of one of the first things that was set up here uh, on the West Bund area. Just to point out a few bits and bobs as far as the city is concerned. So there's uh, this is the AI area that I've mentioned before. There's kind of a... Um, uh, like a traffic control kind of tower there. I think the police use that quite a bit. There's an old concrete um, making factory down here which is used as an art centre. And what else do we have here? We've got Lupu Bridge there in the distance as far as uh, you know, structures are concerned. And then this area here, this is the West Bund pathway and you can see how busy it is. Uh, no cars obviously, no bikes, no e-bikes. So uh, loads of skateboarders and climbers, basketball etc. Almost as ever in all of my <laughs> Shanghai videos, there's the ubiquitous Starbucks. Well, it's quite busy and popular, so we get occasional um, sponsored events going on. We seem to have L'Oreal in this weekend. Here we've got those E boards. Now up here what we've got is, um, I think there was a, a, a train or a railway would come in here and take some loose uh, material, whether that was coal or ore or whatever, uh, I don't know. And what this has been turned into, this building, so they, they kept that as kind of a feature. And this is the Long Museum, it's the Long Art Museum. It's one of several art spaces that there are uh, you know, on the, the riverside around here. There's another one called Yuz, which is a little bit further south from here. Now, one of the other things that is popular around here is dogs. Uh, there's kind of this specifically purpose-built dog park, I think it is. Uh, this has also been here for quite a while, so you can see a lot of dog owners come down here. So for the train enthusiasts, <laughs> there's some train tracks. Obviously, these were part of the old uh, um, Dockland um, movement of materials. <laughs> but there are train tracks. So those tracks go down into this kind of bowl area here. This has been converted into a, a skate park. So there you can see the tracks continue, they're still here, they go off into the distance. There is some building further up ahead, about another kilometre or so, which is something to do with the railway, but we're nowhere near an actual um, you know, public hub like Hongqiao or the main station or the south at all. We're right next to the riverside. It's a big tent. Thank you. 
Now, I actually remember um, just after the lockdown in China kind of opened up, we came down to this area and we sat on this bench. I remember that very specifically. Hardly anybody else around, and look at it now. Slightly crazy. It's a manor, manor coffee there. And look, it's just, it's just thousands of people here today. Absolutely thousands going off. I'm not gonna go all the way along. I'm just walking. It's a shame I can't cycle along. But uh, there's a lot of people here today. Oh, it's a shot into the sun just to show you this 7-Eleven store must be doing absolutely fucking business today. Here are some uh, basketball hoops. They're quite popular today. There's also this raised walkway. You can see I'm a, a one story up, but hardly <laughs> anybody is using it. Yeah, we can see the, the campers down there below. Now, William is in there somewhere, if you can spot him. So I've stuck around a little bit. Uh, the drummers are still here, you can hear them in the background. But uh, what's actually quite impressive is no litter. Uh, people are all packed up their tents and, and gone home and uh, done a really good job of uh, clearing up after themselves. It's really nice to see. We've got the uh, professionals over here, but uh, they're not doing everything. Uh, people are looking after themselves. So there's those tracks going all the way up into the building, which is now the Long Museum, but it was obviously something else um, before. <laughs> I think that's part of the L'Oreal uh, set up over there on the right and there's some more tracks there and a bit of modelling work going on in the background. So I know that's probably a shorter video today and it's not exactly focused on public transport but it's showing you a little bit of life in uh, Shanghai at the moment. I think I'm on the skateboard track. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one and uh, please join me on the next one. Bye-bye.